preview time. So let's take a look at what's coming your way.
What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews, exclusively here, as always, on the Casa D18 Studios channel. I, of course, am your host, the Renegade J.J. Williams, and today is the day where we close out College Week, we close out National Lampoon Week, and we close out Back to School Month. We're going to be talking about National Lampoon's Dorm Days 2, starring Charles Shaughnessy, Oren Skoog, Vita Guerra, Mariah Delfino, Patrick Cavanaugh, Tony Denman, Justin Wallen, Chris Owen, Danielle Fischel, Jennifer Lyons, Nicholas Shake, Larry Drake, Richard Reel, and Jasmine St. Clair. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for joining me here once again for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. As I said during the introduction, we're closing out College Week, closing out National Lampoon Week, and we're closing out Back to School Month. We're going to take a look at National Lampoon's Dorm Days 2. And as our movie opens, the gang from Billingsley University are boarding the Surveyor for a semester at sea program. And the floating classroom is supposed to make an educational stop at the island of San Paradiso, where the students are supposed to explore an important archaeological site. Now, most of the movie takes place over the course of one weekend of the Semester at Sea program, in which Booker McPhee breaks up with his girlfriend, Rachel, and then proceeds to spend most of the time trying to forget about her before they inevitably make up and resume their relationship. The nerdy Numar is trying to convince his new girlfriend, Violet, to go all the way with him. But she is hesitant, largely due to her religious belief in abstinence before marriage. Stoners Pete and Wayne try to score some good dope and end up making the acquaintance of a kleptomaniac monkey named Choo Choo, all while Pete is also in competition with Jerry for a scholarship for the university. Gossip queens Lynn and Marla continue to stir up trouble while Cliff is now a fugitive who works as the ship's bartender. Now, all these stories intertwine as the game attempt to put on a school play in order to win a contest. The play revolves around a priceless gem called the Pharaoh's Heart, which is stolen within the play. However, when Professor Cavendish, the anthropology professor, steals the gem for real and attempts to sell it on the black market, Cavendish is murdered by an unknown killer before he can do so, and the diamond goes missing. We end up discovering that Dante killed Professor Cavendish out of jealousy because Cavendish was in a relationship with Robin, the writer and director of the play for whom Dante has feelings for. Cavendish's death allows for Captain Bunkley to attempt to claim the diamond for himself in order to give it to his wife, Mrs. Bunkley, who is professionally known as Summer Solstice an adult movie star who is desired by the ship's male clientele and willing to engage in sexual activities with the men on the ship as well. Now, the play is given high marks by the judges. However, they don't officially win due to Billingsley's shenanigans, as well as the fact that the majority of the dialogue given in the play was ad-libbed as a result of everything going on. Neither Jerry nor Pete received their desired scholarship grant. However, Numar has better luck, as Violet decides to finally give in to her temptation and have sex with him, as our movie comes to its close. This movie was definitely a convoluted mess. It was everywhere you could tell by the description. It was more chaotic than the original 
without the charm of the original. So the selling points for a not quite yet 30 year old renegade was number one, Vida Guerra, who is the woman in the picture here with Numar. For those of you that didn't grow up with the Vida Guerra era, she was a very popular model in Maxim Magazine, Stuff Magazine, and FHM Magazine, which is where she was discovered and got her big break, as well as adult entertainer Jasmine St. Clair, who, if you don't know about Jasmine St. Clair, Google her. That's all I'm going to say. She also has a tie to wrestling. She performed in ECW. She was married to Brian Heffron, or at least dating Brian Heffron, better known as the Blue Meanie, for quite a few years. They had their own promotion for a while. I believe it was called 3PW, Propane Pro Wrestling. So she's been, she's definitely been around, and I use that term loosely. And after you Google Jasmine St. Clair, you'll understand why that's a hilarious joke. But those were the selling points for a not quite yet 30-year-old renegade. Yeah. I wanted to see where this story was going after the first storm days, but the first storm days was so good. And yeah, a lot of the talent came back. Chris Owen came back, Danielle Fischel, Jennifer Lyons. But then there was the, the main people that I really enjoyed being Patrick Renna and Tatiana Ali did not come back. So it's like, uh, you got some of the cast, but you didn't get all the cast. You didn't get the best of the cast. So, okay, you've got these people in it that I like. I'll go ahead and check it out. Whoa. The only reason I own it is because I'm a completionist. I own part one, so I had to have part two also. But like I said, this movie is a mess all the way around. When it comes to my rating for this movie, I'm going to give it one and a half out of five stars. It's not so bad for me to give it a star or lower than one star, but it's pretty darn bad. I I still sit here scratching my head half the time watching it. Like what possessed them to make this movie and think it was a good idea? It's almost as bad as American Pie 2 which is by and far, in my opinion, the weakest of the saga featuring the original cast. I'm curious to know what you guys think. Let me know. If you're watching the premiere, leave your thoughts and comments over here. If you're watching on demand later in the day, leave your thoughts and comments down here. But let's get into it. Let's discuss National Lampoon's Dorm Days 2 in the comments. Let's have that discussion. Let's have that conversation. Let's have that debate. Let's have that engagement between host and fan slash viewer. And make sure you guys tune in tomorrow right here to the Casa D18 Studios channel for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, do we have a full day of content for you tomorrow as we're going to kick off 31 Days of Horror with the original A Nightmare on Elm Street. Starring Robert England, Heather Langenkamp, John Saxon, Johnny Depp, Amanda Weiss, Nick Corey, Charles Fleischer, and Ronnie Blackley. And then, immediately following that, at the top of the next half hour, new release Saturday, still in effect, I'm going to be discussing Don't Worry Darling. Starring Florence Pugh, Harry Styles, Olivia Wilde, Gemma Chan, Kiki Lane, Nick Kroll, and Chris Pine. And then, as if that is not enough, later on the evening, both right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel, as well as across the Jeff Meacham Network and the Jeff Meacham Network Multiverse of Media, It'll be time once again for Open Mic Night. Myself, Noah Foster, James Hebert, 
possibly Jeff Meacham, whoever else decides to come and join, all of us discussing the latest topics in professional wrestling and beyond open mic night later on this evening. You are definitely not going to want to miss out on any of that content, both right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel, as well as on the Jeff Meacham Network and across the Jeff Meacham Network multiverse of media. Nightmare on Elm Street, Don't Worry Darling, new release Saturday, open mic night, so much content coming tomorrow, you're not going to want to miss out on it. To all my loyal fans and viewers out there, thank you so much for tuning in and joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a moment of content. You don't miss any videos that drop right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel, nor do you miss out when we go live, as is the case with Open Mic Night and with our watch-along coverage of the pay-per-views and PLE events. Make sure you share this video with your family, friends, loved ones, co-workers, National Lampoon fans, fans of Dorm Days, fans of Animal House, fans of American Pie, Danielle Fischel fans, Vita Guerra fans, Justin Whalen fans, anybody that you can think of that might enjoy this content and this video review, share it with them. It's the only way we're going to boost up my visibility in the YouTube algorithms so I can eventually get monetized by the end of the year like I've been striving for, like I've been pushing for. We're getting so much closer. Help me get there, you guys. Once again, to all of you that joined me and tuned in, thank you. It means more to me than you'll ever know. And I will see you guys next time.